And then looking at previous World Cups, I don't, I don't want to compare you to Japan, but Japan in 2015 had the big shock and beat South Africa from the outsider's point of view. People yeah. thought it was a big thing. And then they obviously go to their own World Cup and beat Scotland and Ireland and qualify for the quarterfinals. Georgia must be looking at this and that the whole team has a massive opportunity to play in a tough group, but a very winnable group compared to, for example, if you're in with New Zealand and France and that kind of thing, where those two teams are probably a bit more elevated than perhaps Wales and Australia are. They're all going to be really hard games, but this is a chance to really put Georgia yeah, rugby on the map, which you already are, and making big noises around performance. You beat Wales last yeah. November, etc. But it's a huge opportunity as well, isn't it? Oh, obviously, it's a big opportunity. Um, the thing is, um, you know, when teams are, the big teams are expecting and they know, as you guys mentioned, that you can beat them and you, you are strong enough to win any game, then it becomes harder. For example, if we take Japan 2015, um, wow, well, me personally, I was playing that World Cup as well. And me personally, I was never thinking that Japan could have won the game. And that actually makes it easier. Yeah. Now, what we won against Italy and won against Wales, it makes it a bit tougher because every team now, when you know the team can beat anybody, you are preparing differently. So now any team, it doesn't matter if it's Australia and obviously Wales or Fiji or especially Portugal, they all know that we can beat everybody. So they will be preparing very, very, very hard for us. So. It's not going to be easy, but yeah. everything can happen. We know what to do. We know we can win it and we know how to win it. So that's it. You mentioned the coaches earlier. A uh, friend of mine, Joe Worsley. How's his Georgian coming along? His Georgian is quite impressive, to be honest. His pronunciation <laughs> is getting much better. He was with us 2019 as well. Uh, and he was picking up the Georgian words even then. But now you see him on the training. He speaks Georgian. All the rugby, to, all the all the rugby stuff is 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 fluent in Georgian, very impressive. And Georgian is not an easy language to learn. No, it's not. It's not. He's a really good guy, isn't he? And really knowledgeable. Uh, how how's he getting on in, in camp? He must be buzzing for this World Cup as well. Yeah, he's playing a huge role. I think he he's our defense coach, as you guys probably know, and he's playing a huge role. I think his work has improved us a lot, and and we're still working. We still have time till the World Cup. So every, even now, like. 20 minutes ago, we had a meeting with him, so he's working and he, you won't be surprised that he's a hard worker. He makes us work hard as well, so it's all good. Step by step, we're going forward. So one of the things I wanted to ask you, obviously, you know, we are talking pre-World Cup. Um, there's obviously been loads of noise around Georgia joining the Six Nations and you know, the, the levels that you're at, deservedly so, to be in that sort of question. Um, how, how do you guys feel about it? I know the Black Lion, your team, are joining the Challenge Cup this year as a club side. Yeah, there's a first step, um, yeah. Aspirations, you'd love to play in the Six Nations, I've got no doubt of that. How do you feel that things are developing or how, how you're being treated around that conversation? I think there's the Black Lion joining Challenge Cup is a huge step for us. We're, we've been waiting for that for a long time. And I think it, that's the, probably the first steps where we need to prove ourselves again. Mm, obviously, the, we need to... Um, be on the top of our performance. And I think the first steps are taken and step by step, we could possibly get there. So it's all good. As long as you, you are having more opportunities, as long as you've seen the progress and improvement and you have somewhere to go, if you know what I mean. If you, that Now we know that if we play well on the Challenge Cup, we improve, we go somewhere. As long as you have hope to, to that you can achieve something by winning or getting great performance, that's all good. So we're very happy with this with this opportunity to play Challenge Cup and we're going to continue to work and hopefully hopefully one day we'll make it. Yeah, that's really good to hear you because there's a lot of noise in the UK about, oh, Georgia, they need to be in this, they need this, they need more opportunity. But as players and as a, as a team and a union, you, you're happy with the direction of travel? Yeah, to be honest, to be honest, I think uh, it could be even better for us to go step by step rather than jumping straight in so the challenge cup is challenge cup is quite quite um for, i mean for backline is a big challenge the challenge cup is a big challenge uh it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy obviously the first year is gonna be very tough but hopefully uh as we had in the past we'll adapt to it and we'll step by step we'll go forward we'll stop beating teams and we'll show our best side and hopefully we'll impress the 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 teams a lot so let's see Am I right in saying that you were you were at Gloucester at the same time as 
as Jim. Was that in the, the under nineteens? And Jim was leading leading Gloucester at the point at that point. Captain Fantastic. Yes, he was. Yes, I was. I was kid by then, but I was watching his games a lot, and obviously now as well, and back then as well. Big respect, and you're mm-hmm. the, you were my one of the no name superstars in my in my uh, rugby world. Marab, no. Yeah. No. Yes, Marab. No. Yes, Ma- yes Marab. He played yes. on a Monday night for the well, 18. No, the no, this sounds quite <laughs> Keep going, Marab. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, Tick. <laughs> <laughs> all true, all true. So is Jim one of your heroes? Well, I am that. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Once once I, I saw him um, on a Birmingham airport from the far away, I was like, watching watching you, Jim. From Yeah, I was like, I couldn't believe I saw you so from... Such a small distance. There we go. He was so small as well. No, yeah. Man, yeah, man of the people. <laughs> and that's why, Marib, I have, I don't know what it is. I mean, we played Georgia at the World Cup in 2011. Scotland played Georgia. 11, yeah. And I can't remember his name, but I went to, you had a massive w- left winger, number 11. And I've gone to. You got too much Canelli, yeah. I, I was watching week. that game from Hartwood, by the way. He sat me straight yeah. down on the ass. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, I loved the, he was. He won't be the first, won't be the last. <laughs> Yeah. What, I remember what was that it, Marab, what was his yeah. name? What was his name? Iraqli Machkanelli. Iraqli Machkanelli. He's ah. former captain of, of Georgia. Yeah, 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 I remember you went, him You went after well. Skips. Yeah, wow. Well, and Mamouk Gorgogzi as well. I played at Montpellier with him. Yeah. Mikel <laughs> Nini Ashvili as well. Legends. The Georgians are great people. Like, I played with David Kinchkashvili. Do you remember him, the prop? Yeah, prop. Yeah, yeah Georgian yeah. legend. Unbelievable bloke. Yeah, the, the strongest man I've ever met in my life. Very humble, isn't he? Do you have a bit of a go? Very, very humble guy. He is. Do you have a, do backs ever go against forwards and you try and test the strength there? Because they are probably the strongest blokes in the world, the Georgian pack. Uh, yeah, the forwards are quite strong, yeah. Well, we have we have different advantages, <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> Was it you guys that got in the scrap when you were um, when you were practicing against the England squad? Yeah, we did, yeah. Not, not us, not backs, obviously. The forwards did. We had separate training. But you know the scrum time is always messed up. Like you never understand what happens there. So yeah, there was quite a. But it was a rugby thing. Nothing, nothing above rugby or nothing outside of what you guys have seen or anybody like. Just not, 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 not too scary things. Just like you see that on the game. I mean, every second week you see that. The yeah. England boys were scared. I was the best say, was you the, might not have been the, scared, the, but I think the England lads were. <laughs> oh no, nah, no, nah, it was so good. We stayed friends after that, so... We, um, just we... lastly on that, so Graham Roundtree, how was he? Graham Wigsville, I obviously love him. He loved his time in Georgia, speaks about it so fondly. How was he received there? Oh, he's very nice, very, obviously, big professional, very nice guy, very fun guy. Uh, doing some crazy stuff, I remember him doing. <laughs> uh, after the games, like obviously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. so on the it. vodkas. So I remember him. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully, Graham won't be upset. <laughs> so we no, won the won't. game. Friend of the show. We won the championship. Uh, we won the championship that I, I received once when we played. And obviously, we drank together, all team together. The next day, we went to to party again. And I see Graham. You know the small sticks for the for a teeth. I don't know what it, the wooden yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Toothpick, toothpicks. So I see to, to, toothpicks. Yeah. I see probably hundred dollar toothpicks in the head of the Graham. Yeah, he has no hair. <laughs> Stuck in yeah, the head, yeah. like literally in the skin. Yeah. <laughs> and he That's was just laughing thing. and having fun. <laughs> hey, that is the Georgian vodka. <laughs> vodka does that. Georgian yeah. vodka. That's what Georgian, does, yeah. Georgian drink. Cha cha. Cha cha does it. Cha cha is even better than vodka is. All right, Marib. Hey, thank you so much for coming on, mate. Great stories and enjoy the oh, World Cup. My pleasure. Thanks, eh? Hopefully, we'll see you in the quarterfinals. Come on, Georgia. Come on, Georgia. <laughs> Hopefully. Thanks, eh? Top, Top lad. He is. Top he is. Lad. I, I love speaking to players from different cultures and backgrounds and obviously having the Georgian on here. English, very good. Very good English. So cool. Uh, he's a liar, though. Why? I said you're his hero. Yeah, I think he or was not forced into that. I think he was, no, I think he, uh, he wasn't lying, but I think he felt forced. I think he meant to say, that. yeah, then he meant to say, you should never meet your heroes. Because when I saw you at Birmingham Airport, I was just let down. I was getting mobbed. That was why. <laughs> POW um, shoulders. Didn't want to get POWs. Not then. Shoulders like boulders. Shoulders then. like boulders. Good Georgia. story. Yeah. Mate, it, Georgian rugby. I reckon they're quarters. I'd love them to beat Australia. Come on the journey with us. Yeah.
Fucking we will. We will. We'll, we'll, to we'll, Georgia. I'm, I'm coming. We're going to Tbilisi. I've been to Tbilisi. Yeah. So me, place. me and the late Mickey Steel Bodger yeah. shared whatever cow cow, what was it called? <laughs> chow chow. Chow chow. Uh, the Georgian vodka. Cat so, food. Yeah, we shared um, a triple shot of Georgian vodka when we got off the, I was going to say the boat, but it was a bus. Let's say a boat. It sounds better. Yeah. In Tbilisi when we got there with the barbarians. Blow so, your head off. Fuck it. After, <laughs> hey, I was a established drinker back then. After three in the morning, bang, straight off the bus, quadruple shot of this vodka. I had the best time of my life. Straight to bed? No. Straight to the bar? No. No. Straight does, to the bar. Does Beck know you stayed out? Back then she knows. Yeah. Jimbo was out. But Jimbo. Georgia, if you get a chance to go, what a fantastic country. Yeah. And like you just heard Murray there, great men. Yeah. Really, really are. So, loved that. Absolutely loved it. Pod, 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 pod. Rugby pod.